Yo, what's up everybody? This your boy Iron Ken. Three stats back today again. And I want to talk about this funky, stinking ass Cobra Island. Well, it seems that shit been discontinued. So, what all the stores are saying. And round two of this bitch ass Cobra Island has came to an end. So, Cobra Island was a whole bunch of headache, a whole bunch of mess, a whole bunch of bullshit. From other collectors to target employees, man. Like, we had a whole two stores against us to not even want us to have the figures, you know? I mean... It's an exclusive, you know. Motherfuckers don't see us never really in the targets. But, you know, since it's an exclusive and it's hot, it's in demand, and we know there are other collectors in the town, you know, we trying to get our hands on it. So, you know, with all that, that brought a bunch of hate from the fucking employees, you know. Oh, we tired of seeing them, and we ain't got it, and we not gonna go to the back and look, and just attitudes for nothing, man. You know, it ain't like we be here every day pestering y'all, you know, trying to make y'all life horrible, because in actuality, we really don't give a fuck about your life. We're just here to get some toys. So, um... I didn't understand all the hate and I think motherfuckers was just bitter because they life sucked ass and you know you come to work and you're mad so you take it out on everybody you know what I'm saying because we was polite as can be why the fuck would you come somewhere and be rude to people if you're trying to get something from them from them you know that just doesn't make any sense so with that being said I didn't understand all the negativity, all the not wanting the guys to have it. You know, if I would have been on the other end and I see these dudes coming up here every day, every day, I'm going to try to get them what they need. I'm going to try to tell them, hey, look, be back at this time right here and I'll hook you up. You know, that's the type of person I'm is. When I work retail for Walmart, man, it was a pleasure to stop working and doing whatever I was doing. And go back there and help the customer. Let the boss man say, why you ain't doing your job? Bitch, I'm helping the customer. And when you tell him you're helping that customer, you know, <laughs> that, that gives you a, 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 a free pass. So, you know, every customer I seen, I was helping them. One manager was, uh, he was kind of hating on me. He said every time he would see me, I would be in a female face helping them. You know what I'm saying? I told him I helped dudes too, but you know, his bitch ass was just so concerned with all the women I be helping. So it's not my fault that they looked it good. You know, I mean, Ken wasn't trying to rap to the women, at least not most of them anyway, you know. But anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't understand it because when I work retail, your boy tried to help everybody, no matter what. I don't care what female, male, uh, black, white, Chinese, Latino. It didn't matter. Everybody got the same exact help. I was courteous. I was um, just a... a, a, a person you needed to come to because if it's back there i was gonna find that shit for you i don't care if it took me an hour so you know that's an hour for me doing some real fucking work <laughs> but anyway yeah cobra island the bullshit so now that round two is over with what's gonna come with round three Will this shit get better? Will this shit get worse? I don't know. 
I don't know if I got it up in me to be running around to all these fucking targets and trying to get shit, trying to score some fucking figures. Man, I just might have to break down and fuck with the scalpers next time. I think my overall plan is to just get my money up, shit. And if I go down here and these motherfuckers bullshitting, i just rather to go ahead and buy off Evil Bay, you know. I mean, besides the getting up every morning, losing time out my fucking life, being late on my job, wasting gas, the anxiety, um time that you can't get back from running around running around jumping through hoops for target bitch ass only to get one or two troopers uh you're lucky if you get a case but yeah that's another thing i don't understand how the fuck you get an exclusive and you break them shits down and you only getting one to two per fucking store as far as I know, as far as I know, my target that is maybe, I don't know, five miles down the road from me, the only thing they got was one fucking Viper. That's the only one I confirmed of. That's all I ever seen was one fucking Viper. So, um, either they got one or the motherfuckers in the store was lying, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the motherfuckers was lying. So, yeah, this doesn't really make any sense. I wish they would lose the fucking ex- uh, exclusive Cobra Island line. I would rather see that bitch go to Walmart. Some people complain about Walmart. Nah, I don't take it to Walmart. They won't go get you nothing, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? With Walmart, I didn't never have Walmart to go get me anything. The shit was always out there. And if they put it on the pallets, by God damn it, I'm going in the pallet and take that shit my damn self. But yeah, I think Walmart would be a better solution as they did the Netflix series. And they got wave and wave and wave after that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was able to find all the G.I. Joe retros at Walmart. So, you know, I think Walmart would be a better solution. Way better than Target. At least they don't break up the fucking cases, you know. But anyway, um, this has been your boy Iron King talking about this bitch-ass uh, last going away wave to a bitch ass cobra island see y'all on the third one maybe shit might make me just say fuck classifier but i'm gonna be out peace